Hello everyone, I'm the Crumulant Archer and welcome to Hellsign. Hellsign is a game launching in early access today, uh, November 9th, 9th uh, 2018. It is uh, a supernatural investigation game where you're trying to think supernatural or the X-Files or one of those Monster of the Week type TV shows where you enter a place and you're trying to figure out what's causing the problems deciphering clues and then uh, deal with the, the thing I, uh, I haven't played it at all yet just wanted to bring it to you straight off the top so we're gonna just jump in and see what we got here so we have our option this is I should say this is early access so all the normal early access caveats apply it's not a full game stuff's a work in progress I know for a fact there's gonna be some bits and pieces of art that aren't final because they told us about it in the um, in the email they sent out to us press press folks um, so like for instance we don't have a, uh, a female character so do we actually have multiple classes we do so let's take a look at these things here we have an archaeologist which apparently starts at level three We've got artifact crafting allows crafting of basic cursed artifacts Treasure Hunter, 100, plus 100% increased chance to discover rare signs when investigating. Background. Art Lover, would-be relic collector. Prefers digging up old bones to laying bones to rest. Doesn't mind breaking a few along the way. Specialty. Treasure Hunting, artifact crafting, and starting schematics. And if you can see over here, it says 1987, so this is not, uh, not modern times. It's 30 years ago or so. And we start, you start with a snub nose revolver, EMF mach meter, a hoodie, mag light, some shoes, Anabol X, low cost stim. Okay, some sort of stim thing. Change our picture. I like this guy. It's a good look there. Alright, let's see what the other ones are. Breacher has heavy armor, proficiency in heavy armor, allows running and dodging. First aid, med kits, and max health increase. Doesn't need to act like a badass, he knows he is. He's the first guy through the door, alone or not. He's the one charging through the hallway. Whatever might get in his way. Use of heavy armor and health increase. Detective, oh wait, we should look at what he has. He's got a pocket pistol. A pocket light, EMF detector, rugged coat. Shoes, and that same stim. Detective honed his senses to see clues even while trying to avoid decapitation or worse. Sees everything as useful information even if it's meaningless details. Has developed a terrible habit of talking to himself, answering back. Especially de deduction and investigation using high-tech gadgets. He's got audiophile, utilizing, allows utilizing signs to gain large advantage against specific deducted enemy. Plus 25% range in EMF detectors and parabolic microphones. Pathology allows deducting poltergeist sub trait level 2. I don't know what that means. Drifter, field medic. I'm just seeing how many of these there are. We're not going to be able to read them all. Field medic. Stalker has traps, throwables. Mercenary. Heavy hitter. Ninja. Ninjutsu. Renegade. Sleight of hand. Throwables. All right, I think we're just going to go with the archaeologist, just because he's number four, he's number one here, and why not? I don't know really that much difference between the different characters, so that seems bad. This must be hell. A nightmare. How am I still alive? Where? No. Who am I? I should be dead, or at least it felt like it. Not to mention this weird ass tattoo still feels fresh. Must have been one hell of a party. Hey, you the scout I talked to, the address is some weirdo about a job. Sure beats staying in this dump. That's promising. Person hanging from a tree. I'd take like a 
bucket lifter to get you up that high. I'm gonna adjust the audio once we get in here. This is too loud. Worn down house, inactive pol poltergeist sighted. All right, let me get to audio here. All right. So, regular things, shift to, to mate, use your eyes to get over here. Find and talk to Hunter. Seems bad. You can't interact with that. Apparently not. Hello, there you are, about time. Mate, are you the scout we spoke to? Scout? Look, you see the automatic rifle on my back? I've had a hell of a week, and I ain't here to waste time. Even lost my cat, so tell me, are you the bloody joking before I lose my shit? Relax, mate. I'm the scout I spoke to. I still have no idea what a scout is. Tyson will get you a. get a load of this bloke. We're sitting in the fr here freezing our asses off while he stands there being a joker. Anyway, look. Here's the rundown. We had some abnormal EMF readings in this neighborhood, and we believe poltergeists are involved in it, but I don't worry about it. That's our job. Okay, so what do you need me for? We need you to scout the house for any paranormal signs or activities. You get EMF detector out. Head to the house and suss it out. When you're done, head back over here with any signs. You find, and we'll figure out what we're up against. Okay. Use van to drag EMF gadget to player. Enter house. Alright, so use the van. To drag the EMF to the player. Okay. Use EMF detector, it's number three. Get within range and move your mouse cursor over objects to test the magnetic frequency. Electromagnetic frequency. All right, so it doesn't look like anything is really going on here right now. Yeah, locked door. That seems totally normal. All right, the needle was moving a little bit on that one. Just a tiny bit. What was that? It's broken glass. Oh, oh, getting some activity over here. Higher in the corner. Hello, dead body. Whoop! Hello. Didn't know that was gonna happen. Hearing some noises. Let me mess with the audio again a little bit. There we go. Just a little bit. Oh! Pendant evidence. Alright, well we found something. Locate a corpse with a blood trail. That looks like a corpse with a blood trail.
Use black light cathode F to follow the blood trail. Oh, those look like uh, letters. Is it going to lead to the... It's leading over here to this book. Pathology clue. And one more sign using the EMF detector. Alright, so that's what, number three? So, obviously this is like the tutorial mission, so I'm assuming once you have completed this kind of thing, it, you, you'd figure this stuff out on your own. Not much EMF going on in the kitchen. Polter guys still don't like food, I guess. Is there another door over here? There was not. Alright, seems like the action was in here. Just checking. Oh, here we go. A note. Find one more sign using the black light cathode. Wander around with the black light. Anything? Oh, I've already looked at this. So far, I'm not seeing anything else with the black light. Maybe something somewhere, I guess. Brings you back over here, which we've already found. You can play this like an adventure game where you just click on all the things. <laughs> Anything else with the black black light? Could be something somewhere though. Kitchens seem like a good place for stuff with black black light. Apparently not. Thought he saw something there for a second, but clearly I was wrong. There's a little glow right here. There we go, amulet, evidence. Take the signs back to Banjo, that dude's name is Banjo. It's a ridiculous name. Apologize if anybody out there is named Banjo. Is this Kazooie? So if this is Banjo, is this Kazooie? Care what signs you found, just hurry up and decipher them so we can get before we get killed. 
pull that cryptonomicon out and start deciphering. On it. That's what I want to hear. Now you're playing my tomb. Let that baby out and start figuring out what we're up against. Alright, J. Drag signs into deduction slots. Cypher pathology, devour parasitic venomous vampiric possessed. Cluntab corresponding to the clue type. So it says pathology, so we have to click here. This is all upside down. Why is this upside down? Oh, because the word letters aren't actually it doesn't actually want you to read it. Cypher the clues. Kelpie. Nightmare. Empiric. Banshee. Okay, looks like we got a Banshee. Last time I trusted the new guy. Let's say it didn't end well. Best guess for the signs I found. Don't sound too confident. I sure hope you're right. Listen, we gotta finish up the job before we can go, but you can bugger off. Where's my pay? Our hands full, so I'll tell you what. Head back to town and find the shaggy jackal val down the valley road. I'll meet you there once done with the poltergeist. Alright, hope he has fun killing the Banshee. I have a feeling it's not going to go well for him. Hey, I'm alive! <laughs> Apparently we're in Queensland, Australia. I didn't realize this was Australian. We've earned zero money so far. Right, now I gotta find Banjo. Hey, I found him. You're joking, right? Where's my damn money? Calm down, mate. Search you out, don't worry about that. See that guy in the corner with the black hoodie and the crappy shades? That's Redback. Those signs you found. Well, you can get some serious cash selling them to him. It's a merchant. Fixer, more like it. Yeah, don't let that missing ear and shitty ass appearance fool you. He's sharp as a knife, as a ninja's knife. Word of the wise, watch your back around him. Last time we made a deal, he cheated me out of ha five grand. And my cat. My cat! What kind of bastard takes another man's cat? So this guy, probably? I'm pretty sure this... I think this is one of the ones that doesn't have a... Uh, isn't finished, art-wise. I could be wrong, though. There was some something they told me wasn't finished, art-wise. I know you. You don't look like you're from around here. Told you you buy signs. You a cop? Who sent you? Banjo sent me. Uh, he said he cheated out of five grand and a cat. Wasn't even a proper care of a cat. And I didn't cheat him out of anything. Man's got a terrible poker face. Now, it's, now that that's cleared up. I deal in underground stuff. Only deal in cash and none of it. None of the debit card bullshit. So you're looking to pawn off. So anything paranormal? Anything paranormal? I'm a guy to see around here. You got the signs. Let's trade. So, I guess you don't need these things anymore. I mean, I definitely don't need the dismembered human flesh, but I guess we'll just sell all these. She's detailing the properties and weaknesses of corp corporeal cryptids. Sure, let's buy that. Why not? Back to your safe house. So I guess that means we leave. How do you head back to your safe house? Oh, leave. It's down here in the corner. Safe house. Oh, nice looking place. Safe house tasks. Use J to read your cryptonomicon. Use access skills. Click on the crafting table if you have access to it. J. Critters, poltergeists. Haunted sites have been known to contain copious amounts of blood, flesh, and bones, which attracts corporeal critters to feast on human flesh. 
Even in active scouting sites, ghasts are known to possess basic telekinetic abilities to assault intruders in active hunting sites. Poltergeist. The poltergeist power grows exponentially. Their presence even disrupts the fabric of time and space, causing dimensional tears through the active site. An e EMP tripwire is commonly used as a temporary countermeasure against gas attacks. However, Poltergeist's true form can only be unleashed by use of occult evocation rituals. Alright, so here's the Banshee. It's an aggressive Poltergeist. Make up for their slow mobility by passing through matter. Their wailing is known to tear an ordinary person to shred. Tactical approach and use of sonic ear protection is highly advisable. Inherent weakness to silver makes their immense strength contestable. However, they can also release ingested spirits, which without counter, such as triangular EMP, will quickly surround a hunter. All right, so there's lots of stuff here, but I'm not gonna worry about that too much right now. J U. These are our skills. We have zero skill points currently, so we're not gonna worry about that too much. This is a crafting table. I got nothing. All right, so we can't craft anything. What is this? Oh, that's the skills. This is our inventory. All right, now we go back to the bar and get a job. You got work? All right, um, what have you got in mind? Need a favor, small shop downtown just off of Parksville. It's a place called Guns and Baits. See a puzzle box sitting in the front window. You get that for me, I'll hook you up with a job. All right. Okay, let's go do that. What can I do for you? For a puzzle box. Banjo's errand boy? So it's for him, it's not for sale. Who's Banjo? Poker face, level 9000. Okay, sorry. Thought he might have sent you. That gun. That guy is. and his filthy hands that he can't keep to himself. Name's Noah. Are you a hunter? Nah, I'm a scout. We could use a few more specialist investigators in town. You'll be glad to know a free shipment of the latest gear. All right. So I'm guessing we don't have really any money. Yeah, we don't really have any money. So can't do anything there. So did I get the puzzle box? Do I have it? <laughs> I guess I have it. Oh, apparently I didn't get it. Okay. What happens between you two? These bad news. All right. So where do I get this freaking puzzle box then? All right. So it's not here. No. Did I just buy a nail gun for zero money? It's not here. Not here. Hey, there it is. Mysterious puzzle box. Alright. There you go, dude. Plus 5 XP. Woo! 
So we're even now. It's something where I can get work around here. Bob Redback is always looking for new recruits. All right. All right. I think I have to stop here since we've been going for almost half an hour. Um, yeah. So we just basically went through the tutorial. Hopefully, we'll get into more later. So this is Hell Sign. Can kind of see the shape of it with what we've done so far. But uh, hopefully, we'll be able to do more later. So thanks for joining me. I am, as always, Criminal Archer. Uh, leave me a like if you enjoyed it. Also, consider subscribing if you want to see more in the future, and I will see you later. Thanks so much.